Stain over there, Ma. Well, what's up, guys? Honest Jay from Honest Gamers J and D. Doing another review on Neo here because first one apparently wasn't very good. The audio was bad. So, doing another one, talking a little bit louder this time. Hoping that we'll be able to hear me a little bit more. So, I've been playing this for a little bit, uh, to the point of, I'm still on the, what I consider the first level, although it's not really the first level, but still, in my opinion, it's still like the first level and the first real boss that, uh, keeps kicking my butt. So, a little bit of frustration with it. Um, I tried to watch another video on how to beat him and I'm trying to follow the video, but I still get whooped. But I'll show you a little bit about what we got going on here. This is my character right now. This is the army he's got on. So, a couple things about this game. First is these are shrines, these are places you go to pray and also heal great place and as you can see in that top left corner there's that little thing shining that is my got a brain part <clears throat> so it's the guardian spirit so I chose the wolf there was four different spirits I chose the wolf because I like the wolf there was <clears throat> a shark and a couple other things and I don't remember what the other ones were but I've gotten a little further in here to the point where I've opened up some of these little tags here. Uh, first one, most obvious, level up. As you beat characters, as you can see that Amrita, that is your experience points. So the more you get, the more you can level up your character. Then you have make an offering. Uh, this is for anything that you pick up along the way. <coughs> Weapons, armor. Not items, but just weapons and armor. You offer it to those to the um, to whatever, and you get Amitra or Amrita, or you get elixirs or other little things. Jujitsu, some of the moves that I've learned. Um, boons, nothing downloadable, so nothing on there. Uh, summon a visitor, where you can have a ghost player come in and assist you. But obviously, as soon as you die, he disappears too. Uh, receive Kodama Blessing. Those are those little guys on the thing. So there's... I have unlocked four different ones. There's Oracle. Uh, increases the amount of Amrita. Amrita acquired by 10%. There's the Warrior Blessing. Healer Blessing. And Hunter Blessing. So... For Jiu-Jitsu, I've got a Shuriken and a Kunai, and I've also got a Fire Talisman and Lightning Talisman. They work different. I have to explain those a little bit more. So, to get to your options menu to see what you're what you're carrying and things like that, you hit the pad right here, and then there's your equipment, um, items. Learn skills, customization. These two are unlocked later, along with this one, and so does this one. So you can't really. Oh, never mind. Uh, I guess I already unlocked it. Uh, what about this one? Ah, these are really important. These tell you a little bit about what you've learned so far, tutorials, uh, people you've met, and background. So the locations you've been in. So, skill customization. Let's see, there is a. I learned a kick move. I just gotta figure out where it is. Uh, there it is. No, that's the, that's the, the grapple. So, I do have a kick in here. I. Let's see.
Mutant, poison, poison, paralysis, blinding, fire. Tiger running. Huh? Something else. Okay. Sworn there was a kick I learned. Alright, so here's all my equipment, what I've got right now. <clears throat> As you can see, each item comes with a defensive type and how much it weighs. Obviously, the more it weighs, the less mobile you're going to be. And here are my quick buttons that just some of the things I have. I'm going to use these for the big boss guy I'm going to be fighting in a little bit. But, let's get into it. Alright, so, first thing. If you change weapons, you hold down the R1. If you want to change your long range weapon, you hit up or down. So I've got a musket and a bow and arrow. To change your other weapons, your close range weapons, you have you hold the R1 and then you just hit left and right. So I've got two kinds of weapons. So, I'll show you both of them. So, this is my sword. It comes with a couple different stances, so that's the high stance, medium stance, and low. Or if I want to put it away, there. And also switch to my other weapon, which is right there. And then these are some attacks for that one. So if I change the, the range, it changes my attack. And if I go all the way to the top, then I do that one right there. Now, going back to the sword. So there's... Right there. And then there's this one. And then, go low, and then... There's that. So, put my sword away. And to use the other special little items on the bottom left, you just use the directional pad. And to switch between the two, you hit R2. And there's your second set of things. So, now to get into this and show you a little bit of the action. So, right there is a demon below me. So, I'm gonna wait till he passes overhead. And then drop down. I missed him a little bit. But there it was. Easy quick kill. I need to remember to use the R1 button after attack so I can charge my thing up quicker. Alright. And then to lock on, you push in the R3, which are this joystick. Then there's a heart attack. attack. Alright, so there's basic enemies like that wood is... Oh, shrine, okay. Alright, so that's a couple attacks here. Now, just try to find some... Let me check my other weapon real quick. And the use of it. Also try to find... There we go. There is a revenant. Here is a revenant. Uh, looks like he's got some some items. Now that doesn't mean every item that is showing in that little wheel means that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get one of those items or two. Sometimes maybe maybe more. But Oh. And 
gold in you, then the armor, which I already have. So those are the couple different kinds of enemies to face. Now, first I'm going to go to the shrine. I want to save all the experience I've got. Well, actually, how much, let's find out how much experience I have. By first going back to the shrine. Go to pray. Health heals up. And I go to level up. And I'm about 5,600 away. So, I can either go fight and possibly lose my spirit animal, which means I also lose all my Amrita. Or, I can level up one more time and then do it with, and only lose a little bit of experience points. So, I think I'm going to go with the ladder. Number two. Now I know there's a guy down here. Focus in on him, drop down, and uh, bring it down. Okay, I only got a couple of small items. Alright, now. Now I can also show you long range weapons. First, let's see. Not a whole lot of good stuff, but let's just take him out anyway. Oh, he's got... I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, okay. Ooh! There's my grapple attack. I have, and ooh, this guy's strong, and he has a, only one weapon to get, which is a gold weapon, although I could turn it in and earn a lot of experience, or a lot of Amrita for it. Oh, I just ran out of key, so I have to wait for it to recharge. Oh, crud. <laughs> Oh, now I just brought in some more guys to the fight. So, now it's going to be a little bit harder. Alright, especially when they team up and his got that spirit weapon active. Which means I will have to come back and take him out now. He's still there. So, first, let's go back to my wolf. Which should, there it is. Alright, let's take out the, the issues first. out the guy over here, otherwise he'll get inter he'll interfere with the match. So... Alright, okay, he's out of the way. Now, it's just me and the demon. So, 
let's switch over weapons. And let's bring this back down here. That way it's more of a fair grounded fight. My video is kind of long now, so I'm going to end it right here. So, overall view of it. Let me pause it so it. Oh, there is no pause. Uh, give me a second here, guys. Alright, so, my review on the game. It's a good game, a little bit frustrating. <laughs> I didn't keep getting killed a lot by the first real enemy, so that does cause a little bit of frustration. The controls on it are easy to use. You just have to get used to some of the combos and tricks you have to use to keep your key up up to keep your attacks going. A lot of different weapons or swords, spears, axes, mallets, uh, double de uh, double swords, and then the weapon I'm using that has a chain with a hook on it or with the blade on it, which is really cool. So. Definitely not a game for kids. Yeah, parents, if you're watching, if you're watching this, uh, definitely not a game for the kids because it is kind of bloody in some pieces. And I mean, it is challenging, so that's good. But other than that, um, if you guys haven't already, click the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, our channel. Uh, also hit the bell notifications, turn on notifications so you know when our next videos are coming out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and have a great one. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, sorry. It's two fingers. That one. Yes, peace. Peace with one finger. No. <laughs> sorry. Peace.